Today I'll be going over a quick video to describe how to create a PSET in MicroTorque Focus 6000 controller through Tools Talk MicroTorque. Go to the top left tab here for PSETs. We'll create a new one. We'll know that your torque spec is 1.4 um, inch pounds and we'll do torque only. So this will be a simple one stage tightening. Um, we'll turn two detection methods off right now for demo purposes. Bit slip detection that MicroTorque has standard and also damage thread detection. We'll disable those just for demo purposes. We're gonna go down to the bottom to the configuration. Again, we'll do a simple one step tightening, 200 RPM, and we'll go to 1.4 inch pounds is gonna be our target torque. On the right side here, you can see we do have a lot of error proofing strategies um, like minimum and maximum torque, uh, minimum and maximum angle as well, which we'll get into a little bit more uh, later on. But now we'll go through just the beginning stages. We know that your torque spec is 1.4 inch pounds. So we'll save this up at the top here. We'll activate this program that you can now see on the micro torque Focus controller and through Tools Talk MT, we'll look at a torque over time graph here. And then we also have, if we go into our settings, we can do torque over angle, which we'll look at first. And we'll take the tool. As you can see on here, we have the black and also silver screws. We'll start with the black screw here reverse now we'll do our tightening you can see on the controller screen we did get an okay result of 1.4 and on the screen here you can see 1.4 uh, inch pounds of torque with the tightening trace you can see that it was 18 roughly 1800 degrees that's 1800 degrees of rotation that the screw did now we'll do the silver screw run this one down here you can see we also got 1.4 inch pounds of torque but as you could see here our angle over doubled we went over 4,000 degrees of angle and the reason for this is because these two screws are different sizes the silver screw is much longer than the black screw we see this in production quite a bit where the operators may may pick up the wrong size screw. Um, so we'll go through a method now to be able to error proof this, uh, this station. Now what we'll do is we have a target torque of the 1.4. Our speed is 200. We want to have some error proofing capabilities on a simple one stage tightening. So what we'll do here first, obviously, is save it and activate. We have our black screw here. We want to do our tightening. And this one is, uh, quite honestly, just really easy because we're going to um, right around the 1,500 degrees here. Do another black screw in the front here just to make sure that we're close. So there we go, 1800. So we're falling somewhere between the 1500 and, and 1800. And then the silver screw, we can see a big difference here. We'll back this out, run it down. Again, the black is about 1500 to 1800. And the silver screw that we did is over 4000. So some really easy error proofing we can do without changing a lot of your internal processes is we can do a minimum angle of at least 1000 and a max angle of 2200. Again, we can save this, make sure it's, make sure this is the active program that you're running. We'll look at another trace. So we can do our black screw here. This is again, a simple one stage tightening. You can see we fall right in the 18, 1900 angle range. Then if we do our silver screw, which is the longer screw, we'll run it down. 
and the tool stopped. It said that we went over or reached 2200 degrees of angle, as you can see here. The screw is not fully engaged, it's not even seating. Um, so this is showing us essentially that telling the operator that they picked up the wrong screw for this application and through the Microtor Focus 6000 controller here, as you can see, it's giving them a red light on the, on the controller screen. And this inf information could also be saved through open protocol to either a homegrown data collection service that, that you create. Um, we can attach stack lights in different different operator uh, view, different uh, different guidances, like an SQS Cinetech, and also simple data collection just through ToolsNet 8, our software package that is plug and play with the MicroTorque and other uh, Atlas Copco controllers. So that's error proof on the black screw. We get a new tightening trace. One way that I like to do it is we can actually go right here, go into paint, <clears throat> copy this. And one thing that we typically do is uh, we can break this into different stages. So what we'll do now is go through a three step tightening process. Typically do here is we'll want to go roughly, let's call it 200 degrees of rotation to make sure we don't have any cross threading. This will be our slow start engagement phase. And we'll go from 200 degrees of rotation. We'll go to about, let's say 1600. So then this will be our second stage here. And then obviously we have our third stage, which is our, our clamping phase. So in our first stage here, we're going to go from zero degrees of rotation to 200. We'll go up to 0.2. It's gonna be our max torque here. We'll also have a max torque of 0.2 on our second stage. And from here, we're going to focus on degrees of angle again. We're gonna go from uh, 200 to 1600 degrees of rotation, so that's 1400. And here we wanna go really fast. This is gonna be our fast production rundown stage. Then our third stage, we're going to want to go slow um, to make sure that we have the proper clamp load, um, slow and in control on our last stage. So just showing how easy it is to break this down into three different phases. What we want to do is an angle step first. We want to go slow, we go 50 RPM, and again, looking at our uh, graph over here, we want to go 200 degrees of rotation, and our max torque is going to be 0.2. So now we have error proofing. If we go above 0.2, we're going to fail. Add a new step here. <clears throat> Our second step is going to be angle as well. So we're going to go 1400 degrees of rotation and we'll go fast. We'll go 1000 RPM. We're also going to have a max torque here of 0.2, the same to make sure we don't catch any burrs. Or if we do catch any burrs, we'll be able to detect that. And then we'll do our torque step. We'll go 1.4 and we'll go very slow again. We'll go back down to 50 RPM. So a breakdown of the different steps. Step number one, we want to go slow and in control. Um, 50 RPM, target angle of 300. This will help us catch any cross threads because if we go over 0.2, we'll get an NOK, we'll fail. On step number two, we're going to go very fast. We're going to go 1,000 RPM. This is going to be an angle step as well. So our main control function is angle. Our target angle is 1,400 then we have a max torque of 0.2 again. And then our final step, we're gonna have 1.4. Um, our minimum torque can be 1.3 and our max torque of 1.5. Um, and then our angle there, we're gonna keep that alone for, for the time being. 
So we want to go up to the top right and save our program, and then we'll activate it. See the program change there. Now we'll get into our trace. So now we'll do the black screw that this program was made for. As you could hear there, it went slow, fast, and then slow. And then on the trace, you can see the blue, we went zero to 200 uh, degrees of rotation, very slow. The black line showcases the fast speed that we went for our production rundown, and then green for slow. And we had a 1.4 torque result. From here, um, we'll, we'll see a difference, but we don't have the true error proofing capability set in yet. So run it down, then we went fast, and now we're going slow for all this time. So you can just see the difference in the in the length of screw, and we'll see that in the trace as well. So you can see we went zero to 200 slow, then we went very fast, but only for, on this trace, a short time. Then we have the very long uh, clamp load here, clamp load phase. So what we'll wanna do to actually prevent this from happening is we can have, um, let's do the black one one more time. So we have a real accurate trace to go off of. So the best way I like to do this is we can see from 1600, we only went to roughly 1800 and the trace before we went to about 4,000. So we know we have a lot of buffer room from this point in the black screw to the ending point of the silver screw. So we can do here, that's about 200 degrees. We can do a max angle of even 500 to give us a lot of buffer room there. Save this and activate it. We'll go to our silver screw. And you can see that the screw actually stopped. We are not, we are not yet seated. And that's because of the error proofing uh, that we that we just programmed. This program is set for the black short screw. So if we do it on, the correct screw will get the okay result. 